Thanks for joining us for this video. I'm super excited to bring to you something I've been waiting for uh, a long time to get. It finally arrived in the mail. It is my Granberg cell phone. And uh, as you can see, we're calling Granberg right now. We've got the antenna up and uh, this thing's a beast. I'm not gonna lie, you know, it makes my iPhone look small. Uh, but I tell you what, if you can't see very good, it, you know, these big, the big buttons, you can't miss them. Uh, you know, call and end. I mean, it's really easy. You can tell it's charging. Um, you know, it's a, it's a little big for indoor use. Like, man, it's heavy. So, like, holding it up to your ears, not the easiest thing. But the speaker phone on it's like a football stadium. I won't turn it on. It'll blow your ear eardrums. Um, you know, so if you're really deaf, this is the cell phone for you. And I want to unbox it um, and share it with you. So anyway, I'm super excited about my Granberg cell phone. Thanks for sharing this with me. Okay, I was totally kidding. This is not a Granberg cell phone. Granberg doesn't make cell phones. They make chainsaw mills. That's way more exciting. Plus, I mean, this thing's like a 90 pound cell phone. I don't know how much it weighs, but it would be ridiculous. When I saw this box, I could not help myself but make a cell phone out of it because how often do you get a cell phone this size in the mail? Anyway, so it's a Granberg uh, Alaskan chainsaw mill that's in here, and I'm hoping there's also a mini mill, and then also Granberg ripping chain, right? Manly stuff, which is cool. So let's get this box open. Uh, we're super excited about this because we've been doing our own hot tub deck. We've been milling our own lumber. We're looking forward to milling our own beams for a timber frame barn dominium. All right, let's get this thing open. Ugh. Oh man, I can't imagine putting that in your pocket. Gosh, if it was a cell phone, for real. Not gonna open. Whoop. To the rescue, to the rescue. Sorry, Granberg cell phone. <laughs> Maybe we could sell it on eBay. <laughs> Lots of peanuts. Oh my goodness. What are we gonna do with all of these? You know what, we're gonna have to set this on the floor because this peanut thing is legit. Oh, there's the mini mill. Okay, let's set it on the floor and we'll do the unboxing down there because this is gonna be messy. All right, this will be a little easier to get all this out of here while making a large peanut mess. Oh, I'll sweep that up later. All right, first, first we have the mini mill. And the primary objective of this guy is for cutting the uh, sides off of a log while you have it on a bucking stand without having to rotate the log. So this will make cutting our beams much, much easier. With lumber, we can just cut them after the fact because it's only about two inches. But with beams, maybe eight, 10 inches thick, we don't have a saw that will cut that thick. So here's the mini mill. I'm gonna set this stuff to the side and then we'll kind of unbox it all at one time once we get it out of here. So there's the mini mill. And, ah, here we go. Here's the ripping chain from Granberg. I'm curious to see what the difference is because we've been using a product from Still and, uh, or Steel. And I'm curious to see if this is uh, different and how it's different, what the uniquenesses are there. So there's some ripping chain. We'll take a look at that in a minute. And the big mamma jamma. Huh, and an envelope. I'll save the envelope for later. So here's the Alaskan mill. And this must be a set of guide rails, probably, or something along those lines. There's another box in here. This is the cell phone antenna. Alright. And this thing, whatever's in there. I think it might be a set of guide rails. All right, one second, I'm gonna clean up these peanuts and then we'll get to the unboxing. All right, so the first thing let's take out of the package is the uh, thickness rails and handle. And this is uh, for part of the Alaskan uh, Mark III uh, mill. So this is a 36 inch model. Uh, we've actually got a pretty long bar for our still MS-660. 
and uh, this is 36 inch mill should help us to maximize this saw. I don't know that we're going to need to cut that large. I think it'll cut about 28 inches or something like that. That's a pretty big slab. So anyway, let's take a look at the thickness rails and the handle here. All right, there's a bar. There. Alright, so I believe these are simply the 36 inch part of the Alaskan uh, Mark III mill. And you can expand this mill or, or make it smaller just by changing the length of these bars. Um, so we chose to go with a 36 inch because we have that, that size of a bar for our saw and we think it'll fit most of our needs. But if you had a smaller saw, you could go with a smaller set of bars and handle. So there's the uh, 36 inch um, thickness bars and handle. Okay, next let's unbox the uh, mini mill. And this is a completely different milling attachment than the Mark III Alaskan mill. This is designed to help you to get uh, a second and a third square side on a log without having to turn the log. Once you've got a flat surface on the top, you can run this mill along the top edge and it'll give you a second and third square side, which is really good because if you're cutting large beams, you need them to come off complete. So uh, let's take a look at what's inside this box. With lumber, we're able to do a lot of this on our, our with, with just like a table saw and a skill saw, things like that. So this looks like the guide rail that the milling attachment runs down. You can tell it's nicely machined aluminum and it just attaches to the top of the log there. Uh, it looks like there's quite a few uh, pieces and I'm sure you could extend this if you needed to to make it even longer. Uh, it looks like there's six uh, pieces here. Yeah, a total of six pieces. So um, I'm guessing that's about 12 feet of, of guide rail. So that's in the box. Uh, looks like a Grandberg catalog, a hardware bag, so there's just a few pieces of hardware, a couple of nuts and bolts. It looks like a handle attachment, something like that. And a small plexiglass plate or plastic plate. We'll find out later, maybe when we do an assembly video, uh, how exactly all this stuff goes together. And it looks like that's the last, oh, nope. One more bag of hardware in there. And so here is the mini mill. And uh, we'll do an assembly video. We'll also do a first run video. So anyway, this is what comes in the box. Here's the mini mill itself. Mounts straight to the chainsaw right here. And you can run it along the guide rail. So pretty simple. It's a nice, nice packaging. There's a few nails and a few screws that you can use most likely to attach the, the guide rail to the log. So that's included from Grandberg. And then also just a couple of pieces of hardware to assemble everything. So there's the mini mill. And lastly is the Mark III Alaskan mill. And this is gonna be a kit, so uh, you know we won't be able to do a full assembly in this video. We're just kind of sharing what's in the box. We'll do separate videos when we put everything together. So let's take a look in the box here, see what we've got. All right, in the box, we've got another catalog there. And looks like basic instructions for assembly. We'll go through those carefully. I know that Grandberg has a lot of other accessories and products that we could get to, so we wanna see what else there is. I know a neighbor recently purchased their chain sharpening tool. Apparently it's very highly rated, so uh, we'll take a look at some of the other offerings from Grandberg. Very nice company so far for us to deal with. And this is kind of all shrink wrapped in there, so um, I probably won't unbox everything at the moment because it looks like it's very nicely packaged, but uh, pretty hefty hardware set there. I know this is the safety uh, for the end of the chainsaw bar, which is something we really look forward to with the Grandberg, was kind of increasing our safety with milling our own lumber. Uh, prior to now, we've been doing it with a DIY mill, and the safety is good, but it's definitely not as good as a fully engineered product like this. So included is all the components we probably need to put together. Um, we'll go ahead and do an assembly video on that. Very nicely packaged, and uh, we look forward to getting it put together and milling our first bit of lumber with it. So. Um, hopefully that's okay. I don't want to make a big mess of pieces and parts and I don't even know what they all are in this video and it's just sound like a bunch of rambling. So very nice kit and again this is just the mill and you need to pick the, the correct thickness bars and handle. Again that was uh, these three components here. This is what determines the length of the mill. So um, again you can purchase these in different lengths 
and you don't have to purchase a separate mill. That's the important part. So uh, last thing, uh, ripping chain. Sorry, I thought that was the last thing. Uh, last thing is ripping chain. And I'd like to take a little closer look at this chain because I have a hunch that there may be a, a different thickness here than the chain we've been using, which is a standard cross-cut type chain. Um, and the problem with that is it's really thick. You know, this chain does look a lot thinner. I'm not sure. I'll have to make a cut with it to be, be sure. But this is actually made to length for us uh, by Granberg. And it's their unique ripping chain, uh, which is designed to cut with the grain uh, instead of across the grain, like when cutting firewood. Um, so I'm really interested to try their chain and see how it's different from the chain that just comes on a standard chainsaw and is just filed a little bit differently. So I'm hoping this is a really, really efficient chain. That's something that we've already talked about being different. So we'll do kind of a different video comparing the two chains. We'll talk about them after we've had a chance to give the Grandberg ripping chain a test run. Uh, this is about $50 or so, maybe a little bit more than that for this chain. It's a little more than you'd pay probably for your regular chain. But once you start milling, you'll see that it's it's probably vastly better because it's designed for going with the grain when you're slabbing wood, unlike traditional chain, which is cut in firewood, etc. Uh, so that's the last uh, part of the process there. We'll, we'll get all this stuff put together and uh, we'll do a test run soon. So look forward to those videos. We'll try to do separate videos for each one of those things and maybe even put together a playlist. Thanks for joining us for this unboxing of the Grandberg uh, Alaskan Chainsaw Mill. If you're enjoying this video and you want to learn more about milling your own lumber, kind of watch us as we get going on this process, please subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. If you're also interested in following our off-grid homestead, please follow our blog. It's purelivingforlife.com. And if you like Facebook or Instagram or both, please follow us over there. We do a lot of mini posts, some kind of fun stuff over there that we don't do on the blog or on YouTube. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.